we have a function, uh, y equals f of x. And we want to determine the length of the curve, which will designate that length as s, uh, between x naught and x sub 1. Okay. So how are we going to do that? We'll take an infinitesimally small portion of that curve. Okay. And at such a close look, that bit of the curve looks like a straight line. Okay. And because it's a tiny bit of curve, we'll call that length ds. And we'll draw a right triangle along here. So this length here along this side, that's going to be dy. And this length along here is going to be dx. Remember, we're, we're looking up really up close, infinitesimally to this little bit of curve. That's why the small bit is a straight line. Okay. Finally, we'll call that angle theta. Okay. So we note that ds by dx, okay, that equals, uh, that's just the secant of theta, okay? Now, let's bring this dx over to the right. So we end up with ds equals secant of theta times dx. And what we'll do is take the integral of both sides between x naught and x sub one, and that will give us s, which is what we're looking for, the length of the full curve between these two x's. All right. Now, our problem in integrating this side of the equation is that we have a function now in terms of theta, but we're integrating in terms of x. So we need to convert this secant theta function into uh, something in terms of, well, y, y and x. And we'll do that by squaring the secant and then taking the square root. Okay, now from here on, I'm just going to deal with the with this integrand. Okay, I won't do all this other stuff. So now we've got the secant squared theta, which we can also represent as the tan one plus the tan squared of theta. Okay, and that equals square root of one plus, well, what's the tan square of the tangent? Well, the tangent is going to be dy by dx, dy by dx. And of course, we got to remember to square it. Okay, square it. And so that would go, that's what goes into the integral expression. So what we, what we end up with is the general expression for the length of the line, the portion of the curve of 
y equals f of x. This is an s. And Bob's your uncle.